Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in and forgive my dirty laundry room. I've been meaning to do this video for quite some time. I bought the tool maybe three or four months ago, but we're finally getting down to the pinch point where, uh, or the crunch point where we're going to move here in about four weeks and I wanted to clean the dryer vent or show people how to do it before we moved. So without much further ado, let's get to it. Sorry about the noise, we're actually doing laundry as we speak. I'll shut off the dryer here in a minute so we can clean out the, uh, the vent. Uh, this is the dryer duct cleaning kit. It has four rods to make it about eight feet long total and this little brush out here that we're going to run through our hose to clean it out. So the first step you need to do is turn off your dryer and pull it away from the wall so you can get it the back bent and we'll go ahead and do that. What a disaster this is going to be. Okay, one of the things you want to do when you're uh, cleaning out your vent is to have a vacuum cleaner standing by with a real nice crevice tool because you're going to have all sorts of extra lint back there. I can just see a ton right now. Okay, this is a look behind my filthy laundry room dryer. Excuse me, I just got a piece of lint in my mouth. So. Uh, it hasn't been clean since I've been here. We've been here about three years, so this is embarrassing, but I am literally airing my dirty laundry room. Uh, but the good news is I see one, two, three, four, five, five or six pennies that uh, I believe I didn't drop, because when I drop a penny, I stop and find it, believe me. Uh, so I'm going to clean these up, and I'm going to get paid. Holy Toledo, I see a nickel under there, too. So this is getting paid to do YouTube, which will hopefully pay me through Google. But uh, Here's my mess, and I'm going to get to work cleaning it up. Okay, uh, here's my mess. I'm pretty much going to play some banjo music and clean this up double time for you, so I'll speed it up. But the insidious part of this, or the dangerous part about this, is this is a machine that generates a lot of heat, and all this stuff is very dry and very flammable. So there's a serious uh, fire hazard. So you need to do this more than I have. So uh, do as I say, not as I do. But I'm going to pick up the coins and then get to work cleaning this up. Cue the banjo. Okay, I got it vacuumed up again. Now I've got this about two and a half foot metal Hi. adapter Hi. here. Hey, little hush, baby. And I'm going to run my cleaner tool through that. This thing is pretty cool. You just open it up, pull out the uh, flexible dowels, and I'm not going to use all of them, but they just screw in end to end like that, thread right in place. And then it's got this bristle head, flexible, that you're going to run through the hose. Just screw that on, and you can see how flexible this thing is. It's just a, like a really weak tent uh, pull. Okay, you can probably see in here, this is the flexible exhaust tube right there. Uh, you can just see it's just clouded with junk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this piece down here at the base, and I'm going to run my cleaner through this two foot section, through this collapsible section, and then we're going to run it through this wall piece that goes all the way to the exterior. And on the outside I may have to take off a vent cover to run all that junk into the yard. But you can imagine that that affects how well the air gets through there, which will affect your efficiency, which affects your pocketbook. So you'll save money by keeping it clean and you'll reduce any potential fire hazards. So I'm going to get to work and do this and save some money. Wiggle it off. Looks like he wired it in place here with uh, some sort of chicken wire, but he's just got these clips, it'll come off. Okay. So I may have vacuumed too soon. Anyway, 
I'm going to get my flexible cleaner and just like a muzzle barrel, run this through there, up and down, all the way through to the end. I'm going to put on one more extension here. Because when I'm pushing on that flexible accordion venting, it's just going longer and longer. So we'll put another two foot segment on there. Push it in all the way through. There, look what came out on that end. I don't know if you can see that. That's just the first time. Oh my God. Okay. I'll unclip this. First time through, I got about a softball size chunk of pretty heavy lint there. A baseball and a tennis ball size here. So I'm going to knock that off. And more importantly, in this 90 degree bend, I've got a huge amount of buildup there. So I'm going to get my vacuum with the crevice, crevice tool and suck that out. Clean down. I got this little uh, little Maria, some sort of pendant or something. I'll show that to my wife. You never know what you're going to find. But now all I'm going to do is repeat pushing that uh, cleaner through this a few more times until I'm sure I got most of the junk out of there. Repetitive but necessary. Okay, more came out. I'll shake it. I'm going to try to pull it out. Now I'm going to just push it through. More stuff came out again. Shake it off. It's amazing. Kind of fun in the gross way. Well, we're moving in about a month and we're going to a new house. And I can tell you one of the first things we're going to do is use this tool in the new house. We're leaving this washer and dryer here. We've got our new set there. Okay. That time nothing came out. So I think we got this side fairly clean. Now we're going to worry about the exhaust on the wall. We've got one of these things that became popular in the 80s. Kind of uh, to redirect some of the humid air back into the basement to warm it up. I'm just going to use the uh, vacuum and clean that out again. Okay. I didn't even realize this thing had a little closer damping uh, that you could actually close it all the way. So that's, that's how much I pay attention. So that's good. You can actually close it. Um, Let's see if I can pull this box off. You can. I'll remove that. And this thing is just like you'd expect the other one, all clogged with junk. Well, it's about a four foot section. I'm going to run the cleaner tube up through there. And I'm going to go outside real quick to see if it's got a uh, vent cover. If it does, I'll use the screwdriver and take that vent cover off so I don't run into resistance on that end. Alright, I went outside and I saw that the vent won't be a problem so I'll be able to just shove the brush up through here and push it outside. And next time I weed whack I'll take care of it outside. So, simple enough. It's kind of gross, but you can deal with it if you know you're saving money. Just force the brush up there. It's going to get that 90 degree angle. I'm pulling it back down and getting a ton of crap out of there. I'm going to repeat that back up. All right. So at the top, there's a pretty good 90 degree angle, and I'm not sure I'm stuffing this through with enough force. 
This time I'm going to push a little slower, but with more uh, more force at the end when I hit the resistance. Okay, there it goes. And I'm going to push steady. There it goes. It's a 90 degree bend up there made out of metal. What I did is up at the top there, you can see that 90 degree turn. I just forced that through there and on the side of the house. Here, I'll take you outside and I'll show you what the hell. Field trip. Okay, here we are outside. You see where I stuffed that thing through. The debris is down below. So I'm going to pull it out the rest of the way and then stuff it in and retrieve it on the inside. And I think that ought to suffice for cleaning that out. Okay, I just stuffed it back in. Now we're going to go back inside and check it out. And don't judge me for my yard. It's been growing and I've been out of town on a family vacation. Dog pen, that's coming down next week. Uh, so I can mow back there and sell the house. Okay, back inside again. You see the brush hanging out of the tube. Fairly clean. You can just see the debris on the ground. I'm not going to vacuum this up. I'm just going to get a broom and throw this out directly. But I'm pretty satisfied we got about 95% of the crap out of there. So my dryer should be much more efficient with the exhaust, which should translate to lower energy bills, which is always a good thing. But more importantly, it should translate to a much less chance of a something terrible going on like a uh, like a fire hazard okay we're all buttoned up I've got the, uh, the vent back in place and ready to turn it on and I notice only one difference and it's a little quieter than before and that makes sense if it's got a wider hose to go through it's going to be less velocity and uh, not a not a whistling or anything like that so that's what you need to do to clean out your dryer vent uh, buy the tool it's worth it I would do this, and I will do this, annually, because that was scary what I just saw. Uh, one final thing I'd remind you to do is to use your vacuum cleaner crevice tool. More dirty laundry. When you're done with your laundry, and pull out your lint filter, go ahead and vacuum out that area inside your dryer as well. And do that every couple of months, and you should be fine. So if you're thinking about doing this, don't think, just do it. And as always, thanks for watching.